Beep, beep, everybody. So it's a Saturday morning. Uh, I think this was uh, at 7.30 in the morning, and here we are on 879 West, coming off the Clearfield exit off of Interstate 80. And we're on our way in this dreadfully dreary morning to look for baseball cards at Yoder's Antique Mall, which is just east of Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania, which is famous for having that groundhog that comes out to tell you if winter's going to last longer or not. And <laughs> as you can see, there are some potholes in Pennsylvania, and it's hard for me to keep the camera straight. Now, here we are in Kerwinsville, and they have these nice snowflake lights on. Um, on the way back, those lights were off, but there's actually a nice store here called the Stuff Store, I think. But um, they have some baseball cards, but I didn't get any there, and we went there on the way back. Um, but this video is for Yoder's Antique Mall. And uh, if you're heading west on Interstate 80, you want to get off at the first Clearfield exit that takes you on 879 West. We just hit another pothole there. And you follow 879 all the way down to Grampian, where it basically merges with 219. And you take that south until you reach 36. And you want to take 36 north. And that will take you to the small, which is along this road. If you're heading east on Interstate 80, you probably want to get off at Brookville and take 36 south. If you're coming from the south, you probably want to take 219 north until you reach 36. And you could also take 36 out of Altoona. Most people have GPS devices in their car, so uh, you can follow that. Um, but if you're still using maps, old school, um, hopefully those directions will help you get here. And I probably filmed this stretch of road a little longer than I should have, but we should be approaching uh, Yoda's Antique Mall very soon right after we pass this funny looking tree that's been split in the middle because of electrical wires and here we are it looks rather unassuming from the front but it's a rather large place and you can see their sign there yoder's antique mall now the largest in western pennsylvania and this is the front of the antique mall and we'll be going in briefly to check to see what baseball cards they have. Uh, there's a total of two vendors here, and the first one uh, just has these scattered, uh, there's 88, I think, FLIR packs in there. They have a 92 tops and a 91 Leaf Complete set. I've bought a couple things from here in the past, but nothing really caught my eye this time. Um, and this is the first of just two sellers. The second seller has the most stuff. And if you go all the way to the back of the store, they have this table here that has baseball, basketball, and football. I'm not sure if there are other sports on, on the table. The, these are the three most prominent ones. And as you can see, they have this arranged by player on the table. Um, some of them are in top loader, some of them are penny sleeves. The prices are on tags that are taped to the to the backs of these items. The baseball stuff here is on the left. And we'll slowly go through this so you can see what kind of a selection there is. And right there they have some $2 mystery packs and team bags. And we'll go over what I, I bought here after the video. Uh, or after the tour we'll say. <laughs> And here are some more cards in these uh, bins. Some are arranged by Pirates players. Some are baseball. Some are basketball. Some are football. And there's a whole load of other stuff here. So if you're a Steelers or a Pirates fan, uh, there's a bunch of other different collectibles all arranged in this one rather large booth of stuff. And as you can see, there's some non-sports things here too, like... <laughs> toy tractors and things now this same seller also has cases up in the front of the store and this is where some of the more pricier and generally vintage stuff is found and 
and you'll see they have football and um, baseball primarily in in these cases and there are a total of two cases and this is the second case and there's a there's a mixture of modern and vintage mostly in here you can see there's a 75 Hank Aaron highlights card that's the first card of that set and there's some modern rookie cards in here too So after we were done in the mall, we took the dog for a walk on the side of the building where there's a, a lot of room for him to walk around and stretch his legs. Um, after this, I'll show you what I found here. So I hope you enjoyed the tour of Yoder's Antique Mall, which is just east of Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. And on their sign, you can see they... Uh, they are now the largest antique mall in western Pennsylvania. Uh, I haven't been to very many mall, antique malls in the western part of the state, but hope to rectify that in the future. So I can't tell how accurate that is, but I'll take their word for it. Um, I've been going to this place for about a year and a half, I'd say. Uh, my wife discovered it some time ago, and uh, she gets good deals for the things that she buys there. And I find I usually do myself. So let's go over what we got, and I did buy some of those $2 mystery packs and team bags, and I've bought uh, many over the over the last year or so from that seller. Uh, these were $2 each, and it looks like I bought six of them. And let's go over what's on the front and back. We'll open these up in a separate video. So we have a Byron Buxton Sepia Parallel from 2019. And on the back, it looks like Francisco Lindor from one of those insert sets from 2018. Sorry, I got that off the camera frame there. Uh, this one has a Fernando Tatis Jr., 2021's Greatest Hits. And on the back is a Ryan Mountcastle card from 2021 Bowman. And this one is a Topps Black Gold of Beau Bichette with the stars of MLB Chris Bryant on the back. And we have a U Darvish. Uh, I'm not sure. That's numbered 394 out of 650. It looks like a purple parallel for. Can't quite make out that. It, says, it looks like it says triple threads there. Sorry, the light is kind of, kind of hard to see the shiny stuff sometimes. And there's an Alex Bregman on a 2021 Bowman on the back. And here we have a Johnny Bench, uh, Topps Lineage. I'm not sure what year this came out. We'll find out when we open it up in that future video. Kyle Lewis is on the back on a 2022 Topps Series 1. And Ver Vladimir Guerrero Jr. on a Bomb Squad insert from opening day. And on the back is Jesse Winker from 2022 Topps Heritage. So we'll open these six um packs in another video and um like i said i've bought the many packs over the the time that i've been going to this antique mall and um generally there are i guess half the cards are decent cards and then it's filled up with mostly junk wax after that like uh from 90 bowman and 90 <laughs> donris and, and sets like that the, speaking of junk wax I got these four rack packs from 89 Fleer, and I think we're going to open these up in a separate video and see if we can find the Griffey Jr. rookie. Uh, these were $2.50 each, and I thought that was a pretty good deal. I checked uh, eBay comps, and these are going for a bit more than that. Uh, and I guess it depends on which players are on the front, and I don't think there is uh, any particularly interesting players on the fronts or backs of these and so maybe that's why these were 250 each but we'll open these up in another video and see if we can find the griffy rookie and let's go over the singles we got so i'm going to start off with uh modern day cards and work ourselves work our way down to vintage and and end with the 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 best card that i think i got at this place 
Uh, so let's go with uh, this one. This is a 2011 Triple Threads uh, game used memorabilia for Pedro Alvarez, and it's numbered 6 out of 36. And I don't think too many people remember Pedro. He tied for the home run lead in 2013 when he had 36 in his playing career kind of went downhill and he is no longer playing with playing in baseball or major league baseball so i thought that was a pretty pretty decent card and i thought i'd pick it up it was only four dollars and we got another uh relic this is a game jer ud game jersey from upper deck of jeff kent and this came out in 2005 and i think i paid four bucks for that too so i thought that was a good deal uh, here's another relic. This was in his Edwin Encarnacion. This is from 2017 Tops, and I'm not. I don't remember what I paid for this. See, all the tags get taken off at the register, and the receipt you get doesn't actually tell you <laughs> what you paid for each individual card. So I'm. I think I got this for four bucks, but I'm not really sure. Uh, it, definitely a possible Hall of Fame candidate right there. Um, this is a, let's see, uh, 2017 Topps Heritage Chrome Jose Altuve on the 68 design. I thought that was pretty cool. And a pink um, 2016 Topps Chrome of Starling Marte. And I think that one was only like a, a dollar twenty-five or a dollar fifty or something like that. Uh, Bowman Platinum of Shohei Otani. This one's from 2019. And here's another Bowman Platinum of Starling Marte. And uh, this one's from 2012. I think this is Bowman Platinum Prospects. So this this dates back, uh, back very early in his career. Uh, we have a... Let's see, what is this? Uh, 2021 Archives reprints of Willie Stargell. You see the Topps Archives logo up here. This is base. This is basically his 81 Topps card design. And the backs look very much similar to that 81 set, but in a much more <laughs> brighter appearance with a white card stock. And Carlos Correa from Bowman Chrome. Uh, prospects. This is from 2015. I think Carlos Correa has a, a pretty decent shot of becoming a Hall of Fame uh, candidate down the road. Uh, he's putting up some pretty good war numbers. Um, so stay, you know, keep your eye on him. I think he's going to has a good shot at it. Uh, what is this? Uh, 2019 Tops Update Pete Alonso. It's got the rookie card label, but I don't think it's technically considered a rookie card. It's more of an all-star game card. And it was a good deal on this, so I got this. But I don't remember the price I paid for it. Uh, I'm thinking it was like $2. Uh, Andrew Benintendi rookie card from 2017 Diamond Kings. I'm sorry if my voice is going in and out. I'm... I've got this stuff written down on a laptop next to me and I'm turning <laughs> so that I can so I don't have to keep flipping them over and checking to see what their years are. So here we have a 2009 Bowman Draft Prospects of Yu Darvish. And I thought that was I, I think this was a dollar, so I thought that was a good deal. And here we got a relic card of Dave Parker from sp legendary cuts this is from 2002 i think i probably paid a little too much for this but i was like pretty cool i need to get this um th th this seller has some good deals and then he sells a lot of things at about beckett retail value and i think that's how much i paid for this so it's like this is here Will I remember to look this up on eBay when I get home? Probably not. I like the card. Let's get it. We're already here. I'm not going to pay any shipping on it because we're going back home. So <laughs> so that's why I sometimes buy things at full retail when I find them. If I think they're in really great shape and it looks like something I want. 
Uh, this was from up in that front case. This is uh, a Dave Winfield relic card. Uh, this is from 2001 Topps Archives Reserve. And it's a bat relic. And I think I paid full retail for this one. But the card was in great shape. So I was like, i got to have this. It's based on the 1974 uh, design of his rookie card. And this one is in a one of these uh, uh, one-touch things or screw-down things. I don't know what they're called. I, I, I don't have any myself. And um, th th this one was in one. This is from 2005 Donner's Champions. It's a Tommy John uh, game-used memorabilia. And it's a bat. So this was from his uh, batting career while he's more well-known as being the great pitcher that he is. Uh, I don't remember what I paid for this, but I was like, i got to have that. And so that was pretty cool. Now on to the vintage. 1976 Willie Stargell. And I think I paid about retail for this. Uh, Willie Stargell cards, when you go into western Pennsylvania, they're all priced rather high. The same thing with Roberto Al uh, Clemente cards. And... Um, along with a number of other uh, former Pirates players. Um, but this one was in pretty good shape, so I thought it was probably worth getting. And you see it's off-center, but I didn't have it, and I was like, I might as well get this while I'm here. And we got a 1975 Gaylord Perry, who unfortunately passed away recently. Um, rest in peace, Gaylord. You gave us much entertainment through the years, <laughs> especially... Uh, mystifying uh, batters with your spitball, <laughs> among other things that you threw. Uh, not the best in condition. Has a corner ding up here. A little bit of issue along the bottom edging. The centering is, is hard to, to get right with these 75 cards, but this one wasn't too bad. There's a little bit of a printing line going up and down across here, but it sort of fades as you go down. Um... There's some tape on here. This is how the, the tags are like on a string and they're taped to the back. And so I have to change these top loaders to something a little more presentable. Uh, I think I got this for two bucks. <clears throat> uh, 1974 tops. This is the 73 earned run average leaders. It's Palmer and Seaver. And this looks like it's in better shape than the card that I currently have. So I thought I'd grab it, and I think I got this for um, 3 or $4, or no, $2, it looks like I wrote down. That one I think I wrote, no, I got it for 4 And here's one of these most, most valuable player cards from 1975. This is for the 1951 season with Yogi Berra and Roy Campanella. And I think I got that one for a buck, and it looks like it's in really great shape. And this one is the uh, 74 Highlights card in the 1975 set of Nolan Ryan. Ryan fans 300, third year in a row. And 1972 Carl Yastrzemski. I got this for, I think, 16 bucks. I thought that was pretty good. It looks pretty sharp. Um, it's a little bit... Mm, the image is a little bit twisted, like the cuts are on somewhat of an angle on this one. But it, still, it looks pretty clean. And the best card that I got was the Burt Bly Levin Rookie. But actually, I didn't buy this. My wife bought it for me for Christmas. Uh, so I thought well, I was real happy about that. And... Uh, Thrilled to get this. This was $65. As you know, uh, Beckett Retail uh, goes for about $120 for one of these. Um, this isn't the most perfect shaped card. It's got some fuzzy corners. They're not much in the way of rounding. It's off-centered left to right and up and down a bit. But it looked pretty sharp. And I thought that was a pretty good deal for it. And I, I guess for its condition, maybe... $80 is what you might pay for something like this, 80 or 90 instead of the regular retail 120 which would be for a, 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 a better centered card with sharper corners. Uh, so I have to give this back to my wife so she can wrap it up and I can forget about it so that I'm all surprised when I open it up on Christmas Day. 
So that's what I got at Yoder's Antique Mall. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you all have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Um, if you ever uh, go there and uh, find something good and you want to share it, um, put it down in the comments what your experiences were with this, this antique mall. I don't believe I've ever seen a video from another sports card collector that has gone to this one. So this might be Yoder's debut in the baseball card world on YouTube. I don't know. I don't know. You can correct me if I'm wrong. I most likely am. <laughs> There's an awful lot of videos out there and I certainly don't have the time to get to all of them and I try, but you know, I still work full time. When I when I'm retired, I'll have more time to watch this stuff. Anyway, instead of me rambling on and on, you all have a great day. Uh stay tuned for more stuff. Um I don't have any announcements to make, but I have more stuff to open up, so there will be a continuous line of crazy, wacky videos from your resident weirdo on YouTube, Packy Cardipotamus. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Beep, beep.